So number one, how do we develop a good sales channel when industry base is more than 45 industries? Uh, can I ask who, whose question is this? Because I have some questions on this question myself. Uh, yes, it's uh, my question. I'm Reni here. Hi, Reni. So Reni, why do you, what is the challenge here? So, uh, you know, in this lockdown, I experimented marketing my product. Where That means this, we are into manufacturing of machines, which test the quality of every kind of product that's manufactured. So we approve, we are taking one industry by the time, you know, but, but I am unable to understand how do I identify one industry which I need to, uh, you know, further pursue or I'm still horizontally pursuing basically. Every month we have two industries. So how do, what do I do next is something that I'm a little clueless about. Okay. So Reni, which is the industry that you've been able to sell your products very easily and mm. they appreciate the output that your product delivers to them? Okay. So I need to name them. Maybe rubber, metal. Okay. Select one industry. If okay, you were okay. to select the best that you were able to sell very easily and your product gave the best output. Yeah, rubber. Rubber. Now, think about that industry and how many such companies which are dealing with rubber are still not prospected by your team? Uh, my question is a little different. So we have never experimented rest of the 40 industries ever. So the chances are those can be, you know, outperforming rubber also. Okay, so Reni, here is how I would I would I would take this. Okay, what I have discovered, I would try to juice that out completely first, instead of leaving that half chewed, and try and hunt for something else which probably I haven't discovered. Mm -hmm. This is discovered already. I know the answer. I want to go full hog. I want to finish that race completely, and then. I would want to focus to figure out, okay, can I add to this something else? Unless, of course, you feel that, okay, this is not something that I like doing, which means that I don't want to be associated with a rubber industry. Then that's a separate story altogether. But if that's not concern, and if you already identify an industry that wants your product, that can benefit from your product, and you know how you crack the deal, is it to find another one which is like that and not go for the newer ones? Of course. So we are also doing rubber simultaneously, but we need to, this potential is so high and plus people have time and scope. You know, my major, majorly I tried this because in lockdown, everyone was sitting at home and uh, this was a very good activity. People appreciated that we reached out to them, you know, forming so a yeah, bond of a There is a, there is, if you have to add other industries, then you have to create IBUs. IBUs means independent business units. You can't have the same team prospect all the other industries. Okay. So if you really want to go 45 industries, you would have 45 sales guys to do justice to each industry. Yeah, that makes it, sense. Yeah, you, that, it, it doesn't make, it, it would not give you the kind of benefit if you have one person or two people address 20 or 40 industries because okay. then you are becoming jack of all, master of none. Yes. Right? It, it, um, but the guy who owns Bajaj is, I, I, I like him a lot. So in one of his interviews, he mentioned that uh, people always go for more because the idea is that more is more, right? But if that was true, then we should ask Sachin Tendulkar to play hockey because that is also about bat and ball, <laughs> right? So it's, it's Sachin is Sachin because he just continued to play bat and ball, which is cricket. And he became the master blaster at that. Would he have chosen to play a little bit of cricket, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and he'd go nowhere. Then he would not be the Sachin that we know. Okay. Have I answered your question? You, yes, yeah? yes. I mean, yeah, I think this is where I think the, the follow-up was getting a little lost. Okay. And Hardik, I think this is a this is actually a much deeper question. And I think it runs through all the different questions that people have asked because Everyone is struggling for time. Everyone is struggling to choose between this or that. And, uh, you know, it is always about what should I prioritize? What should I really go after? What will give me back value for my time? So How maybe can I tell you why this typically happens? This is, this is what the entrepreneur really goes through. And I myself have gone through it. So I, 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 can, I can tell you by experience and you'll relate to it. So it's like when we started consulting, we were trying to get projects and this was the first time that I've started a business and I'm trying to do what I did on my job on a business. And these are two different animals, right? On, on a job, you don't have to hunt for projects. People hunt you, 
राइट कि मेरा मेरा वर्टिकल इंप्रूव कर दो सो व्हेन यू गो ऑन द जॉब यू काइंड ऑफ से ओके यू नो व्हाट यू वांट टू वर्क विद मैन्युफैक्चरिंग बट नाउ यू हैव दिस रियल एस्टेट सर्विसिंग कंपनी दैट कम्स टू यू एंड से हार्दिक कैन यू करेक्ट दिस एंड यू गेट ल्योर्ड बिकॉज़ नाउ यू डोंट नो हाउ टू गेट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग मोर सो यू से ओके आने दो ना कर सकते हैं ना थोड़ा बहुत सो यू टेक दैट then you realize okay now i got real estate services company but i don't know how to get 10 other real estate services company so can i probably work with a little bit with the insurance company which has come so i go into insurance right fir again insurance company mujhe char mil gaya panchwa kaise leke aane mujhe malum nahi hai or it sounds too difficult to get the fifth one so i go and add another segment this is very simply happening with distributors or happening with retailers or happening with small businesses which import from china abhi to kam ho raha ho but import from china you add a product you market it you consume the natural demand samne se jo aa raha tha usko aapne service kiya ab wo natural demand ke baad wala jo demand hai na wo kidhar se lane ka wo malum nahi hai so you bring a new product and then what happens you have a plethora of product and you don't know why any of them sold because that requires investigation but that's the difference between a scaling company and a company which does not scale so i always tell people um, i was doing a seminar in delhi just before the pandemic and uh, there's this one gentleman who asked me kis hardik what your age is is the number of years of experience that i have so why should i listen to you i said sir with all humility i want to ask you that what was the biggest problem in your business in year 1 he said the exact same thing that we are discussing i said after so many years what is the number one problem of your business he said the same thing so i said then it's not so many years of experience it is just that one problem that one year of experience that you've been repeating all of these years if your problems don't change that means you're not growing इमेजिन अ स्टूडेंट राइट फर्स्ट स्टैंडर्ड में वही मैथ्स कर रहा है सेकंड स्टैंडर्ड में भी वही मैथ्स कर रहा है थर्ड स्टैंडर्ड में भी वही मैथ्स कर रहा है दैट्स नॉट अ इंडिकेशन ऑफ ग्रोथ दैट्स एन इंडिकेशन ऑफ फेलियर बट अगर उसका मैथ्स एलजीब्रा में बदल जाता है व्हिच इज अ फार बिगर प्रॉब्लम दैट्स नॉट एन इंडिकेशन ऑफ फेलियर दैट्स एन इंडिकेशन ऑफ ग्रोथ सो इट्स थोड़ा उल्टा है इफ यू आर फेसिंग न्यूअर चैलेंजेस यू आर ग्रोइंग इफ यू आर नॉट फेसिंग न्यूअर चैलेंजेस यू आर डाइंग यू आर नॉट ग्रोइंग सो अ लॉट ऑफ अस आई थिंक कीप ऑसिलेटिंग बिटवीन द सेम प्रॉब्लम्स right and uh, is this down to that leadership peg of you know focus why is it happening rather than you know what is happening and we are being too narrow my no too myopic in our uh, decision making so nitin i when when I, i'll i'll again use my own experience so when i started my business i would give presentations to people and my presentations would include jargons so it would include things like okay we are going to do business process reengineering and we are going to measure you with q and i people would understand nothing but what would i understand of people is they would understood everything because everyone would go like this <laughs> correct so i had to really put myself into a forum where i was the biggest idiot in that room everybody else was able to do what i wanted to do very easily and i was the biggest idiot in that room but because i was a biggest idiot i learned newer ways that i thought i knew but i did not so if you are surrounding yourself with people who are exactly at your level then all that you will do is you will say ye problem hai the other person say mera bhi ye problem hai and both of you guys are happy that are sabka yahi problem hai it's okay so it's a, it's important for you to have at least one forum where somebody has done or no more than what you know so if i use the training example agar mujhe wo client nahi mila hota jisne mujhe ye bola hota ki i will market for you and you do the training i would have never experienced the fact that risk taking can also be rewarding aur wo client mujh se bada tha isliye mera client tha otherwise one blind man showing another blind man nothing will happen right so uh, that is what it is we are too consumed with the thought that we know it all that's the biggest problem so so himang bhai has a question here which was about uh, you know as smes we can't afford a cfo right uh, himang bhai i don't know if you want to uh, so, so i so, so i can explain hardik uh, we were a we are a sizable company with a good good amount of staff and the beginning of this year in january i lost my 
the head of accountant, then the account assistant, then the import manager. And then I realized that I don't have systems and things were happening. Maybe people were experienced, people were good. They worked with me for two, three years and now everybody is new. So my challenge is happening that for everything, we have to read out the process, which I have to do. For everything where they get stuck up, they come to me for an answer. So I have to be free for them. If I make mistake, they make mistake and ultimately business suffer. So then I'm thinking here, the best thing is to hire a people. Now, when the question comes of hiring the good people, will they know my business? How am I running my business? Will they definitely, I mean, will they be able to help me out? So, or can I hire a CFO? And who will take care of my all accounting problems, inventory problems, the processes problems. He will say, he will, he will keep for me a good process, a good work. I mean, what you said now about the hierarchy of people, giving them appraisal, uh, reviewing them, then giving them promotion. We were all doing all these things. Now, suddenly I'm realizing that when did we stop this? Now, I, I don't know when did we stop this. And today the result is that uh, I'm stuck up with 70% of my time doing the nonsense things. So, Himang, do you like reading books? Yeah, many. Okay, so I'm going to recommend this book to you. Uh, this has a uh, this will have your, uh, of course, I'm going to answer your question, but uh, this will cover the answer in all lengths and breadths. Okay. This book is called E-Myth Revisited. Okay. I will put it in the chat box. So yeah, that that's better, yeah. Everybody can do this. Okay. So it's E-Myth Revisited. For those of you who don't like books, and it is fair because we are a generation of distractions, uh, so you can you can do the audio book. Okay, it's available on Audible also. Um, so, among what happens is a uh, lot of times I see my clients uh, they start very small, they suddenly get success, and because the success comes to them so rapidly, uh, they don't have time to design processes, and the success they were able to digest because they happened to find good people early on. So what happens, these good people kind of graduated to a higher role as the company grew, right? So the owner was left in the, I'll, I'll use this word illusion that everything was hunky-dory. Whereas that wasn't the case because we all believe that unless the problem comes to us, if the problem is not coming to us, it's good news. Like no news is good news, right? So it is, it, the problem is already there, but it's not coming to you, one, because the person who's handling it is firefighting. Yeah, you're right, correct. So the he moment, he, yeah, so the moment he goes, it will be a problem. And now the solution to this among is not adding good people again. And I'll tell you why. Because the good people that you had were people who have grown with the system. So they had this love of being a part of the growing company. Now, when you get good people, the good people will not stick around with broken processes. And I will tell you why. See, think of uh, attrition when people leave the company. Normally, corporates may look both, people leave the boss. SMEs may thoda sa alag hai. SMEs may people don't leave the boss. People leave a profile and then they go to another SME and they work the same exact job profile they do. They do it. We lost you. It is my. Patrick is back. It looks like. Yeah, yeah, sorry. My router just decided to restart. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so Imam, what I'm saying is that when you look, when you ask those people now, why should they have come here? So their answer is, their answer is that there was a lot of jig jig. Which means what? That the work we have to do, but the way to do the work is that that is very cumbersome. So people will leave. Now the new people who will come, if you if there is no process, the new good people, a bad process can easily fail. So what you should be doing. Is get yourself the right systems. After you get the right systems, you can employ average people to do the system, and the system will give you the result. 
instead of going the other way around get intelligent people with broken systems okay i understand your point yeah makes sense <laughs> and logo to uh, the pandemic has got everybody to cut their staff so yeah yeah hamara problem thoda alag hai average people and no systems there <laughs> no combination hai so ronald what do you do uh, we manufacture industrial lubricants and we also have a trading business so A company where we represent, uh, where we import products from Europe and uh, supply to the steel industry in India, and the uh, and as you rightly said, uh, it uh, with the natural business that came in, uh, we we started manufacturing products which went to the same customer base more or less, you know, and we have no idea how we sold it, uh, but yeah, we just added a lot of products. Uh, we have a lot of companies that we work with as their representatives, as well as that we have a lot of products. that we manufacture to the same customer uh, you know so I, it was exactly you know i could relate to a lot of things that you said today it is it is uh, uh, it's something that i learned from my uh, from my uh, fitness trainer so he he used to tell me that whichever is the exercise that you can't do uh, do that exercise more yes because the reason why you can't do it is because the muscle is le- muscle is not well trained or equipped and the only way to equip it equip it is to actually beat it even more yes so uh, now a lot of us kind of say oh you know what usse to dard hota hai to let me not do it but not karne se the diabetes hota hai so now right. you decide which one do you do you do you take the dard or you take the diabetes diabetes i i chose the dard Yes. So, <laughs> so Hartik, I had a question. I have listed it down in the chat. It's number three. Um, sure. So, since I read your profile, which was kind of covering this, I had come up with this question uh, earlier on. Sorry, I cannot see the questions now because okay. I re-logged in. So, Fazia, can you put the questions back again so I can just yeah, see I'll just copy paste them if I can. Okay. So, number three. so we are just in time manufacturers uh, what is the most cost effective efficient method in your experience for businesses like ours where variety is high and volume or variety is uh, low see anything that is make to order that's what i that's what i realize right rani is that how it is make uh, to so order product, but we have too many models and too many accessories so it's more like pick and choose so people depending upon their need act select the model and their accessories so we cannot stock all the 200 final accessories neither the machines okay so uh, rani you'll have to decide what is it that first again decide the segment that you want to work with the moment you decide the segment your the breadth of the products that you select would automatically reduce hmm. the second thing that i want to ask you is what is it that your people appreciate a lot do they so, appreciate the variety a lot or do they appreciate the functionality a lot so both variety happens because each industry has a lot of standards so when i say variety it's about catering the same person with 10 different accessories so if i calculate every say wood rubber plastic metal textile etc each have 100 200 standards and each needs some set of accessories so i cannot stock depending upon the requirement uh, you know I, mean, i cannot stock for every 100 200 standards and why i'm asking you this is because now we have recently purchased a cnc machine and now i have to devise a way in which i can use it efficiently and the cost producing cost effective products accurate products as well as i have to decide now how do i maintain the stock and inventory etc because that's going to be a new addition until now it was absolute just in time so you know now it's going to change a little bit so reni this obviously requires some amount of more study on uh, what kind of products that you do so i may not be able to give you a precise answer to this but based on what you are saying this is what i foresee you spread yourself too much so there are a lot of variations that you are introducing yourself i'll give you an example uh, there is this furniture uh, uh, site that you can buy furniture what's its name i uh, 
Pepper where you can buy like the pepper fry, pepper fry. So pepper fry, when you when you go, they you buy, you select a chair, correct? Or you go to Zara, for example, and you won't see the same garments over and over again, like you would see it in a lifestyle, right? But um, the reason why they are willing to do a lot of variety is because people want exclusivity. So people are buying the products because it is exclusive. So they are charging for that exclusivity and then providing them a limited number of stuff. They are not producing a variety and then trying to sell to a large pool of people. It's like saying, uh, since I'm a garment manufacturer, can I, why can't I produce t-shirts and shirts and uniforms and uniforms for hotels and policemen and firemen? And if, because ultimately it's just garment, right? Why am I not doing that? So if I have to do that, then I will have to have verticalization for that, which is IVUs, which is what I just said. Because without that, you will not be able to do it. If you have an inventory, uh, you must listen to one of the calls that I did. It's on my YouTube channel. Fozia, if you could just paste the last uh, call that we did um, with this Wapi manufacturer. If you could just yeah. paste that. So, so you see that, see that. Dropped again. So Renny, you see that see guy that's going across the board. Mac, I think I've lost you. Okay. Yeah, I think a bit. We, we, I lost guess you're right. we can hear you now. Okay, all right. Okay. So that guy is going into manufacturing too many things. Now, one of the problems that he's also discussing is that I end up using the for which was purchased earlier for product B in manufacturing product A because the product A came happened and then when the product B order came I did not have the raw material so because it's customization the raw material is common between product A and 2 so unless you verticalize it and you're able to justify each verticals viability for it to remain a profitable business it's difficult to manage something like this. You, by design, it is problematic. So should you do this? Yes, you should do this. But uh, even if you have like one CNC machine, the CNC machine can cut only so much, right? So you'll have to again get into prioritizing kiska order ka CNC machine process pehle karu ya kiska baad mein karu. Correct? So again, you will get into rationalizing which order will give me more profit and more uh, business than the other one. So at every point you'll be compromising one for the other. And that's not good for any of the businesses. You'd rather pick up one or two business which are independent to each other and check their viability in independent way and go full hog in there. Because that will make you stand out like an expert. Hmm. If, if, if you think of burger, what comes to your mind? McDonald's. But McDonald's also does serve coffee. When you think of coffee, what comes to your mind? Uh, Starbucks. But Starbucks also have burgers. So both is true. But what they are known for is their core product. So unless you become a person who's known for that core product, then you can add ancillaries because you'll have the bandwidth to do that. Currently, if, if you have the bandwidth right now, absolutely go for it. But if you if you don't have the bandwidth and which is why you are trying to create a matrix, then don't do that. You will fall into the trap of prioritization. Yes. And God forbid, in case if you are not there to clear that prioritization in, you are up for customer complaints and you will lose the loyalty and you'll whatever you've acquired, you're in, you're going to brush them up wrong. So you don't want to do that. Don't don't create an animal which is so complex. Right. Yeah. Hardik, we are uh, we've used a quite a quite a lot of your time. Actually, we've already gone over time. So I'll uh, leave the floor open for one more question, and uh, and then I'm sure we can uh, you know have your coordinates so that people can reach out to you privately and take uh, any questions that yes. they have. Words, so Nitin, what what I would suggest is if anybody wants to have a private conversation with me. Uh, for me, for us to have that conversation become more structured, I would request you to go on to my website 
and there are these sections out there so if you have a problem with growth there is a section if you have a problem with processes there is a section if you have a problem with people there is a section and there are a few questions if you answer those questions i'll be more prepared and our call that we can have will be far more structured and it's a free call that you can schedule with me uh, of course my team will reach you out and then we'll based on mutual time availability we could discuss that yeah super that's perfect anyone have one last question for hardik actually because uh, hardik brought up uh, topics about uh, systems and all with himan ji my question was kind of similar to that um i just want if you can look at uh, question number 6 uh, hardik uh, so we want to go ahead with you know systems implementation but we don't know what is the right direction to start with and secondly as you even uh, pointed out earlier that initially the people that you have from the start they have grown with you but the thing is the people with us that have grown with us most of them are like they have grown with experience they don't have any education they they don't have any knowledge beforehand they have grown with experience so they are not ready to you know use those systems or implement those systems because uh, it is difficult for them and they want to do something that's easy for them that the comfort zone that they are in so 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 rishab there are two things that we are talking about right okay. one is um, and let me tell you this okay. first things people who are not educated does not mean that they are not intelligent so there, there's a two okay. different thing i strongly believe that experience teaches people far more than academics would I, i as a consulting company we interview a lot of mbas and i can tell you 80% of them are duds and i'm not using any other beautiful word to describe it they are pure hardcore duds <laughs> i would rather take a person who's been in the in the in the midst of of things for three and take an mba from even iim ahmedabad okay so that so that's one second thing is uh, that processes people like a because the processes make their task easy it makes it idiot proof so if the processes are not making things easy then those process designs are not right that's that's one second it's a it's a very big myth that processes need to be written down in the form of sops which the people who can't read can't understand well we are in india even if we understand sops we are people who by design are not going to adhere to it because we as educated people have learned the art of looking at the red light but still driving the vehicle through if we don't see the police correct so the the point is that one processes are supposed to make things easy so if the process are not that way that's not the process to have second it need not be sops it needs to be something that is suitable for the kind of people that are working so that's number 2 having said all of this when you do processes people who are not willing to let go of their freedom of doing masti are going to fall out and let me tell you that's a blessing because a system will help you eradicate people who are not right but you thought they were right because processes are going to take all the unnecessary power that people had when there is no process i can come to you and i can say rushab sir don't worry i will take care of it then what i do mm-hmm. is only something that i know you are happy that the problem is not coming to you but now with the process i can't come and say rushab sir i will do it because there is only one way of doing it mm-hmm. chances are i told you rushab sir i will do it and i went and told prashant prashant would you do it prashant did it prashant is a quiet guy he did all the thing he was supposed to get the applause but who gets the applause i get yeah. and then i go and tell prashant prashant don't worry tere ko sabashi nahi diya na tu bahut acha hai mere ko malum hai prashant rishab sir ko kuch malum nahi hai now what happens now if things go wrong with me i pinch prashant and prashant's loyalty is with me so prashant and me team up against you this is how the politics happened right Right, right. Processes eradicate all of this. Thank you so much. It was really relatable, and I could actually, you know, understand. Like, uh, so definitely, thanks a lot for this.
You're welcome. Great. So, uh, Hardik, thanks so much for your time today. We all truly appreciate it. I think it's been uh, very enlightening uh, and a great starting point for further conversations with you. So, I'm sure there's a lot of us that are going to go to your website and uh, yeah. fill out the questionnaires in our respective problem areas. And, uh, uh, you know, hopefully we can have you back mm -hmm. for another session as well. I think a lot of what we discussed was also very relatable from a manufacturing, uh, you know, uh, standpoint. Uh, I think we, or a lot of us are also in the service industry, while problems are similar, they just play out a little differently, I think, uh, you know, because they're very people centric in a lot of cases. So uh, that would be, uh, you know, uh, great to also hear from you about and uh, hopefully we can have you back uh, for another session with all of us. So we've got something for uh, Hardik. So Joseph, can you just make me a host? So just a small uh, vote of thanks. Oh wow! <laughs> Thank you. That's so. That's so thoughtful. Thank you. <laughs>